Hi, my name is Megan Kahe. This is my amazing service dog, Ananda, and her name means joy in Sanskrit. She has lots of joy, and I have a story that has joy in it. I'm a painter, and I used to paint these agonizing figures that were dark and despairing, and they pretty much reflected the state of my life. When I was 19, I was away at college for the first time in my life, and I started hearing things and seeing things that no one else could hear or see. I was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and for the next 25 years of my life, I went in and out of hospitals. There was shock treatment, there was four-point restraint, there were seclusion rooms. My doctors and family really didn't have much of an expectation that I would ever be able to do anything except go in and out of hospital. So it came down to where I was very suicidal. I needed to make a decision. Was I going to live or die? And I chose to live. And I got in touch with the life force for the first time in my life. I decided I, I could work. And no one expected that I would do this, but I did do it. So I had a job as peer mentor in a community health program. About that time, it was 2006, a study came out that said people with serious mental illness live on average 25 years shorter than the general population. When I heard this, I was shocked and I thought this cannot be, but I had been in my job as peer mentor for about four months, and in that four months time, four of my peers had died prematurely. This was shocking to me, it was very, very personal, and I decided that I had to do something personal about it. So I made a vow to dedicate my work to changing this situation, to reversing the statistic. When I started getting into recovery, I started painting a flower, and it was the lotus. The lotus is a wonderful symbol because they're beautiful, beautiful flower, and yet their roots have to be in the mud, and they can't grow without the mud. So when I'm doing trainings or teachings, I tell people, be like the lotus. Sink your roots down into the mud of your lives and let that mud be a source of healing, strength, and joy. The reason I tell this story is because I want people to know that there's no such thing as a hopeless life. My life is proof that there is hope.